My name is Hazel Arbin and I work at Saskatchewan Conference Office. I am a United Church Minister and I have worked as a United Church Minister for about 25 years now in different congregations in Saskatchewan. I live in a small town called Vibank, which is southeast of Regina. Quite a few years ago, I was at a United Church Conference workshop and um, the main speaker was um, introduced and he got up to the podium and he, he said that he had a deep love for the United Church of Canada and then he continued to say that um, the reason for that was that years previously his country had been uh, at, at civil war and they were at a point where both sides were willing to sit down and talk. They had the place set up, the, the agreement of both sides, but they needed $3,000 and they didn't have it. And he said, and we asked the United Church if they could give us $3,000 and we had it the next day. And I, I remember sitting there and I just, I mean, my eyes immediately filled with tears and, you know, I had to all my willpower to, to keep from sobbing out loud because there was just such an, a powerful impact uh, that our church could just spontaneously be able to offer money to that group that would stop a civil war. And, and the, maybe part of that money was something that you offered or something that I offered. Um, we don't know. It, it's, it, it was something that just was a, the church was able to give without us having any um, designation ahead of time. Uh, but I also believe that uh, we need to think about uh, offering part of our money to the MS fund without any strings attached because then the church can be moved by the Spirit to give that money where it can do the most good, where it can help people, and where maybe it can stop another civil war. Your money, my money. I encourage you to think about offering um, to both designated givings and to the general givings so that our church can use it to the best that it can use it.